Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome that name tag guy, Scott Ginsberg. Number one, identity theft cases rise this month. Number two, 75 million Americans living without health insurance. Headline number three, Luther Vandross catches pneumonia after a stroke. Headline number four, SARS outbreak troubles China workers. Headline number five, the end of Buffy feels like a dagger to the heart. For those of you that don't know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was a, my favorite television show of all time. And when they canceled it, it was a very sad day. Headline number six, war letters from the Iraq front lines. Headline number seven, the cost of AIDS drugs increases for poor nations. Headline number eight, studies find disturbing amounts of contamination in lettuce. Headline number nine, Hubble telescope catches approaching storm of turbulent gases. And last but not least, headline number 10, man wears name tag for friendlier society. Katsamida. <laughs> What's wrong with this picture? They're negative, they're about fear and death and poor health, but there's one, one out of 10, so 10%, that's not bad, something positive. So anyone who ever tells you that one person can't make a difference are lying to you. This is why approachability is so necessary. There's an old saying that it's a needle in a haystack. Well, I'm here to remind you that if you are not approachable, you're a needle in a stack of needles. That's how you don't get noticed, get remembered, and get business. The opposite of being approachable is not being unapproachable, it's being invisible. Therefore, your greatest barrier to business success is anonymity. If you're not familiar with the term anonymity, allow me to describe. This is the name tag I wear at certain conferences. It also assists the visually impaired. I am not suggesting that you do this. You don't need to wear a giant name tag. In fact, I have voluntarily given up my anonymity. Wherever I go, people are going to know my name. Every single day, three to five complete strangers say, hey, Scott. Sometimes they'll play a joke on me and they'll say, hey, Scott, you got a memory problem? You can't remember your own name? What are you, an idiot? Sometimes being anonymous would be nice. However, everybody knowing my name is extremely profitable for business. My question for you is, who knows your name? Who remembers your name? That's the different maker, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone in this room, you have your name tags on. You all have a name. But the real question is, how many of you are going to live your name? 3,417 days. As you can see, wearing a name tag is not always positive. I have accidentally done laundry and left my name tag on the shirt and it kind of messed it up. That's okay. I need to share with you, however, wearing a name tag is not always positive. We've already looked at what approachability means this morning and you understood how a name tag symbolizes that. In our final few minutes, we're going to talk about the commitment and the consistency that holds this process together. You see, when I was in college, I used to get beat up. P 
people started fights with me for wearing a name tag. Apparently, a sticker offends people. I don't understand this. In fact, you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. Complete strangers will walk right up to me and... I'm naked! <laughs> now, of course, you guys are all in on the joke. This person, they don't realize that I got my backup name tag right here. <laughs> what they also don't realize is that when I was a boy growing up in the United States, I was a member of the Boy Scouts of America. And we learned one rule. In life, you always be prepared. <laughs> you should see the look on people's faces when I put another name tag on. Did you just take another name tag out of your wallet that looked exactly like that one and put it on? Yes, I did. <laughs> Unfortunately, some people, they don't get it. In the event that they still don't like my name tag, I can always show them my name tag underneath my shirt. But we'll talk about that later. I've also received over the years dangerous individuals. This is one of the reasons you don't want to be too approachable. People will violate your boundaries. And if you don't set boundaries for yourself, people will step across the line. It is possible to be too approachable. I also have received death threats. People have tried to kill me for wearing a name tag. You guys work in insurance. Can anyone explain this to me? I got an email once from a gentleman who said, Dear Scott, if I ever run into you on the streets wearing your name tag, I'll kill you. That is not very approachable. So you know what I did? I took a copy of my book and I sent it to him. I thought maybe he could use some of the information inside the book. Do you think he actually read the book? I don't think so. In fact, I bet that was the guy that took the book and sold it on eBay.com for $2. <laughs> That's okay. All of these represent challenges to your commitment. Sometimes you get an upset customer, a piece of hate mail, someone who criticizes you. Well, I got a letter eight years ago. This letter changed my life. I framed it and I look at it in my office every day. It says, Dear Scott, the whole name tag thing is so stupid. All you are is the name tag guy. All you're ever going to be is the name tag guy. How does that make you feel? I thought back to what my parents had said to me, and I responded with one word. Let's see how well you guys were paying attention. What was that one word that you might say in this situation? Cool. I said, cool. You know what? I'm proud to be the name tag guy. That's who I am. That's what CNN called me. In fact, I am so dedicated and committed to being approachable, to being the name tag guy, that yes, to answer the question about the beach and in the shower, I did get a tattoo of a name tag. <laughs> I can tell some of you, you don't think it's real. You think that I took a marker and just scrubbed it on. I'm here to tell you, that is not a marker. <laughs> It hurt like hell! Oh. <sighs> My question is, are you that committed? <laughs> now, I'm not suggesting, I'm not suggesting you should get MDRT tattooed across your chest. <laughs> oh, he already has it, okay. In June of 2006, this tattoo finally came clear of why it was so important.